you sit down in your kitchen to enjoy a quiet snack of onion soup and crackers, you say mizonot on the crackers and ha'adama on the soup, and then just then your teenage son comes into the kitchen with a group of, uh, well, pretty loud and rambunctious friends, uh, you need to find a more quiet place to eat. So you get up, and as you're standing there holding the crackers and the soup, you try to figure out where exactly you can move to and still be within the parameters of your bracha vis-a-vis -vis the laws of Shinui Mako. We learned that in order to freely move from room to room while eating, you needed to have this in mind at the time you said your brachas. And in this case, you didn't have in mind to switch to another room. So what are your options? Well, if you can still see the original location uh, of the kitchen from your new location, that would be okay. However, in this situation, you're trying to escape the noise, so moving a few feet into the living room isn't going to solve your problem. Uh, going out to the backyard, that's not an option because once you leave the house, that's a full-fledged Shinui Makom. You consider the patio right off the kitchen, but since it doesn't have a roof, it is not considered like a room of the house, and that won't help you. Well, just as you're ready to concede defeat, you arrive at a solution. You could go to your home office located in the basement. Now, of course, you can't see the kitchen from there, but the reason this works is because you often move between the kitchen and the office while working and eating. Since this change of location while eating is common for you, it is automatically assumed that you had it in mind when you said your original brachas. And actually, if you're really stuck, there is another option available. You could simply switch locations and say new brachas. Uh, this is not considered a bracha she'en tzricha, an unnecessary bracha, because in this case you have a legitimate reason for making a shinui makom. Now, I should also mention that depending how much soup and crackers you'd eaten, uh, if you do make a shinui makom, you may need to say an after bracha before leaving the kitchen. Uh, we'll learn all about after brachas in the upcoming classes.